In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the object and class data types available within Blueprint. So I'm going to create a new uh, variable, and I'll call this my object. And if we take the variable type, we can expand it. You'll see there are two lists for object and class. Now, objects are going to be blue in color, and classes are going to be purple. Now, I want to point something out. The purpose of an object or class is to contain some type of asset. So for example, uh, if you want to store some uh, object that exists in your scene so that you can talk to it later, maybe set properties on it, such as location, then you would want an object variable. As an example, uh, let's type in into our search line uh, BP underscore, and you should see uh, object B underscore sky sphere C, unless you have a, actually this should even appear if you have a completely blank project. I believe uh, this asset actually exists in your engine. But you'll notice that you have this pop up in two separate locations. It's available under object and it's available under class. Now the reason this exists at all is so that if you needed to have a variable of this specific type, so it would literally be a variable that stored only this sky sphere blueprint and no other kind of thing. So it's not like it could suddenly store a different type of blueprint, like a character blueprint or like a number, uh, such as a float. It can only store a BP underscore sky underscore sphere. Now, again, this is where some confusion pops up, particularly for beginners, when you see that it is listed under object and under class. And it may be unclear at first as to which one you need, so I'm going to make it really easy on you. If the object you want to store already exists in your scene, then you want an object. If the object does not yet exist and you're going to want to do something like spawn it, so you're basically you're talking to the asset that would be kind of you know, in a folder in your project and nowhere in your scene at all, then you want the class. So again, just to reiterate, if it exists, it's an object. If it doesn't exist, a class. So I'll go ahead and create this as an object, and I can drag this in like so and choose a getter. So now if I drag a wire off this, I can do things like uh, get location. And you'll see I can get the location for that actor, and I could do something with that data if I wanted to. So uh, I'm not yet going to talk about getting and setting. That is something that is uh, for a separate video, but I do want to just kind of drop this so that you can remember it for later. The difference between get and set uh, gets to be a little bit, I won't say complex, but it's interesting and you should pay close attention to it when you start talking to objects. But we'll go over that in a future video specifically about getting and setting. For now, that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.